I have been waiting for the opportunity to open a position in one of the lithium miners like SQM or ALB, which most of you are familiar with. And maybe the opportunity is very, very close right now as these stocks made pretty big down moves. Actually, on Friday, SQM is down over 20% in just one day. And you can see the chart is starting to revert to the mean. It's the same thing with ALB. ALB was down around 10% uh, in just one day. This is is largely due to a lot of things that's going on some of it has to do with the lithium prices actually going coming down a lot but a big worry around those stocks is mainly from chile and chile they said that they delivered you know some type of a policy on thursday giving the state majority a stake in this uh, companies so they're going to buy 51 percent in them and they're going to nationalize them they're going to be government controlled type of companies and this is something that's very very risky but both of those companies they actually have contracts like sqm has a contract that expires in 2030 and alb has a contract that expires in 2043 and the government cannot really do anything around these companies before their contract expires again sqm is 2030 ALB is 2043 and this is a very long time especially for something like ALB and looking at the president that's actually trying to do this his term began in March of 2022 and they have a four-year term so he's likely not gonna be here you know in 2030 or in 2043 in case of ALB so maybe the government changes their mind by the time we get to 2043 so such things I normally you know tend to like because they bring opportunities they bring some risks but they also bring opportunities where the market could potentially be overreacting to such new and it could present us with an amazing buying opportunity and I'm actually very interested in potentially buying a small stake in those companies I'm going to share exactly to you which company and what I'm trying to do later in the video but in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about SQM SQM and ALB mainly move together I will most likely buy ALB but I'm discussing SQM as I noticed many of you own it that actually watch my channel and SQM just like ALB most of these companies either are diverse diversified they have many you know mines and joint ventures and production plans pretty much all over the world but a lot of it is actually in chile which is the biggest you know uh, geopolitical risk with the company most of those companies they actually have you know good debt in case of sqm their debt is nothing crazy that's maturing anytime soon most of the debt is even maturing after 2050 so most of these companies made a lot of money on the run-up in lithium and they actually have pretty good balance sheet you know they have a lot of you know uh, good things going on they also have a dividend a lot of people they get fooled with such companies especially sqm they think that sqm really has a 12 percent dividend and if you look at the dividend you know it's it's very very high but this is actually not true because if you look at the dividend it has been fluctuating it has not been steadily increasing like another some type of dividend king like cvs or anything i believe alb has a more stable dividend but sqm they actually have a dividend policy on paying up to 100 percent of the net income as a dividend payout sometimes they may pay out 80 percent sometimes 60 percent and sometimes even a hundred percent of their net income is likely going to be paid as a dividend so you cannot count on the dividend being you know 12 percent or any metric to value those companies and this brings me to my point which is something i struggled with with such companies is actually how do i even value them if you look at the lithium price i mean it's pretty much all over the place i don't really know their production numbers how much their expenses are going to be in the future i don't know where lithium is going to be and it makes it very hard to actually value those cyclical companies now normally whenever i have such cyclical companies sometimes i try to value them on some type of a dividend yield what if the dividend yield is higher than the historical average it tends to mean that this company might actually be undervalued but this is something that we can't really use with sqm because the dividend is actually you know a variable so one way i try to value such companies and i know i'm gonna get judged on this and it might be not you know the best way to actually value it but i had great success you know doing such things with many cyclical companies is just price to book and i try to look at the price to book value per share of the company on its historical basis and i try to just simply buy it at the lower end of the range and it may sound you know crazy but if you look at other companies like micron which is cyclical a lot of the semi 
American doctors, you could go and look at their historical book value per share. They have a pattern of actually bottoming out at a certain book value per share. Now, the book value per share in case of SQM is 3.7, which is much lower than the mean of around 5.1. So we're buying it lower than the mean. But if we, you know, take a pretty simple look at this chart, it tend to bottom somewhere close around two times book. So around two times book, it has bottomed in March 2020, it has bottomed in 2015, 2016. So for me personally, if I want to open a position, I would like to buy SQM or ALB at their lower end of the range. For SQM, I would buy it somewhere at least around two and a half times book, which is somewhere pretty close to the lower end of the range. And I would not buy SQM or ALB and just buy them and try to dollar cost average them. This is not the right way to do it, in my opinion. If you look at the historical chart of SQM and even ALB, especially SQM, this is a cyclical industry. I mean, imagine if you bought it in 2012 and you just dollar cost averaging down. Well, you're pretty much the same price as you were in 2012. This is a cyclical industry you must get in you must get out i know it's not a warren buffett type of investment and some of you like to buy them and hold them forever and there's nothing really wrong with that if you buy it somewhere at the lower end of the range around you know 20 25 dollars per share and we're nowhere close with sqm and even alb so i look at such you know, things more of a trade than actually an investment because I want to protect my downside. For example, if I look at this chart over here, I am personally not buying this chart on SQM. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. If you look at the lithium chart, the lithium chart, I mean, it looks like it's about to go back to what it was in 2021, around 117,000, or it could even go back to what it was in 2019. There's no support on this chart. This is not something I want to buy and dollar cost average into, even though maybe SQM might be undervalued, but looking at the price to book value per share, which is pretty stable, SQM is actually not as undervalued as most people, you know, actually believe. So using some this lithium chart, I would not be buying SQM at such prices. If we put in a basic line, there's some support around $50 per share. If it does hold $50 per share, maybe I would buy it, you know, a little bit over there. If it aligns with the book value per share, if it starts going down, maybe I might exit the position. But I would really encourage most people to not really just buy and dollar cost average into SQM because you want it as a long-term investment, I can challenge you and look at this chart again. These companies, they are very, very cyclical and timing is key. You don't know how low lithium prices can go. You could be right that it's undervalued. Well, if lithium goes below 100,000 to like 95,000 and no one can predict lithium, then you're wrong about this entire valuation, which is why I encourage investors to use the price to book value per share, try to disciplinedly and patiently buy it at the lower end of the range and try to buy it somewhere where there's some type of a support on the company and try to to somehow get a pretty good buying opportunity in SQM. The only way I would ever average into SQM or even ALB if they were trading, you know, somewhere like, you know, 2019, 2020 type of level, sometimes around $80 to $100 per share. Now, I'm not sure these companies are going there, which is why I'm using a combination of basic, you know, technicals and some combination of a book value per share to try to get the best deal possible of when I'm going to establish a position. You could, of course, do it your own way. You could dollar cost average down and hold forever this is not something i would do with cyclical stocks especially when i don't control the price of lithium and lithium is not oil i don't know where lithium could potentially go it could go sky high it could go down even below 80 or 90 thousand which is is gonna make me look wrong even though i might be right that it's undervalued so i would be very very careful with such companies but i could potentially see myself buying a position maybe in alb in the future because those contracts are protecting this companies till 2043 and from now till 2043 maybe the sentiment is going to change after we get out of this recession people are going to wake up to the clean energy trend i'm sure most of you know what we use lithium for for a lot of evs and many other things so i see an opportunity here and i think it's a you know it's a pretty good you know buy the fear type of situation but someone has to be patient you have to be careful and wait for the right opportunity at the right price using you know a combination of price to book value per share and some basic you know uh, technicals so this was my uh, video for today it's not like what i do then but i try to share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing so i hope to see you in another video